the Lindau Guidelines. Scientific knowledge brings understanding, and that understanding can guide and inform how society can meet such great global challenges as these. So let's use our scientific prowess to be more active politically and in other ways. How can science confront current global challenges more effectively and efficiently? How can it become more open, sustainable, global and collaborative? How can we enhance science's interactions with society? These questions constitute the rationale underlying an initiative originated by Elizabeth Blackburn at the 68th Lindau Nobel Laureate meeting in June 2018. Elizabeth Blackburn's appeal is directed in particular towards young scientists. She calls for the development of new approaches to achieve openness and cooperation in scientific work. The result is a set of practical guidelines for research, the Lindau Guidelines. These guidelines stand in a long tradition of demands that over the years have made their way from the Lindau meetings out into the world. The 1955 Minow Declaration was a plea against the use of atomic weapons. In a further declaration in 2015, 72 Nobel laureates called for increased international engagement in climate protection. While these earlier initiatives were aimed towards politics and society, the Lindau guidelines are directed towards science itself. The world is confronting acute problems, and research organized at the national level alone will not be enough to tackle these global crises. When Elizabeth Blackburn conceived the original ideas for the Lindau guidelines, she was of the opinion that scientific research must build a foundation for progress that contributes to the well-being of humanity and the planet. In order for science to work as efficiently as possible, Blackburn emphasizes the merits of a global scientific community that shares resources and data openly. The 10 goals of the Lindau guidelines were developed by Elizabeth Blackburn in partnership with the Lindau Nobel Laureate meetings. By an online platform, young scientists were able to work together to contribute their ideas and help develop the goals. It is thanks to this cooperation, for example, that the first goal was adopted. Goal 1. Adopt an ethical code. In order to be accountable for their own actions, scientists ought first to subscribe to an ethical code. Such a code would include commitments to, among other things, integrity, with the requirement of exercising care and competence in all scientific work, respect for life, laws and the common good. This will minimize potentially harmful consequences of scientific activities on people, animals and the environment and responsible communication, which includes listening to others' concerns and ensuring that the results of one's own research are neither misleading nor open to misinterpretation. Goal 2. Cooperate globally on global problems. Our world is interconnected. Problems can no longer be considered in isolation. Rather, they have implications for all countries and people on the planet. That is why policymakers, funding agencies and the scientific community must work together. Only then can research in the 21st century be truly effective. Goal 3. Share knowledge. Science has always thrived in the exchange of ideas and information. In an ever more complex world, progress is only possible if scientific data is, on the one hand, made accessible and available, and on the other hand, if it's possible to trace the originators of these ideas. Furthermore, shared knowledge from trackable sources is the strongest weapon against so-called alternative facts. Goal 4. Publish results open access. It's imperative to publish all relevant scientific findings freely in so-called open access mode. Researchers from all over the globe must have unrestricted access to their colleagues' results and outcomes. This is a requirement that Nobel laureate Brian P. Schmidt emphasizes in his 2019 keynote address. Please be open and share everything. Make sure people can use your ideas to further their work. Don't hinder them because you might have a paper downstream that you want to write and you don't want to actually share the information that could have someone else do it. Ask yourself the following question. When I publish a result, 
Can it easily be reproduced by someone else in my field? Have I made my data available? Have I made my methods clear? Goal five, publish data to repositories. Research generates data. Of even greater importance than publishing scientific discoveries is making the facts obtained available. This involves processing and saving massive amounts of data. To this end, our technological infrastructure must be improved and modified in order to make secure long-term sharing possible. Goal 6. Work transparently and truthfully. Scientific research must be transparent and true to fact. This applies to methodologies such that data and results be documented in the most precise possible way. Communication such that relevant results be made available to others and finally, disclosure of financing sources and of any potential political or ideological motives researchers might have beyond their scientific interests. Goal 7. Change reward systems. In future, how we evaluate scientists must no longer rest solely on the significance and quality of their research. The process used to achieve their discoveries must also play a role. Since an effort towards transparency, openness and accessibility supports the goals of global research, it must also be acknowledged accordingly. The same goes for the development of valuable tools, programs and other resources that could be utilized by others. Goal 8. Support all talents. Diversity and equality of opportunity. For the Lindau guidelines, this means that talented scientific minds be supported in an integrative and non-discriminatory way, independent of their background. Goal 9. Communicate to society. One of the responsibilities of science includes relaying its findings to the population at large. Science must publish and provide information useful to political, economic and societal decision-making processes. One applicable example is the project Authentisci, which originated in the Lindau Online Sciathon, a 48-hour online scientific competition. One of the competing groups developed a platform through which articles and facts from Internet sites could be evaluated by scientists. This is an important contribution in combating alternative facts, as the project initiator Nicholas Clifton explains. We often say that we need to improve our science communication, but the media already communicates everything that's interesting enough to catch their attention. We can't replace that. We can't um, intervene too much there. But what we can do is we can provide feedback on that media in an attempt to rectify these misconceptions. Goal 10. Engage in education. Research must have a future. To ensure the support of aspiring and emerging students, scholars and scientists, a sustainable process of reciprocal learning is essential. This could conceivably include many different formats, from classroom lectures to mentoring, from collaborative laboratory work to extracurricular activities. To support this goal, resources for the continuing education of teachers and other educators must also be made available. In 2020, the 10 Lindau guidelines were discussed in a panel consisting of Nobel laureates and upcoming scientists. So, um, I feel like if people implement the Lindau guidelines, it will be some new reform of science. And uh, what I think in the future, it can stimulate some multidisciplinary approach of science. Each and every scientist, therefore, as well as every university and research institute, is invited to adopt these guidelines in the pursuit of their own research. Anyone who would like to officially voice their support of the Lindau guidelines may sign their name to them online.